Hi guys, this video will cover some of the points I haven't been able to uh, show you just yet about editing notes and image occlusion enhanced version 1.0. The most important thing I want to cover here is how to add note specific information to image occlusion notes. When I, know, when I say note specific what I mean is that in some cases you might want to add some information that is just relevant to one specific occlusion shape and one specific label that corresponds to that shape. And the way you would add that information in previous versions of image occlusion is to just add some um, text to one of the um, remarks fields or either the remarks field, the footer field, the sources field, either of these fields would be uh, good candidates for um, specific information. But this doesn't work as well with image occlusion enhanced version 1.0. And that's because when editing a node, you edit all of these fields across all of the nodes that are um, belong that belong to that specific node set. Which means that in this case, for instance, where we have the um, these three specific nodes that all belong to the same node set, if in this case we now edit either of these nodes, then any changes we apply to this field, for instance, just adding anything to this remarks field here, any of these changes will be applied to all of the nodes, meaning that now we don't only have the structure specific information on this node where we actually wanted it, but it will also appear on all of the other nodes that belong to the set. So we can't really use the remarks field as a field for node specific information or rather label specific information. And here's where the extra fields come in that are new to image occlusion enhanced. These fields provide a way to actually provide information about specific labels without running into this issue because extra fields do not appear on the editor this is green. So in this tab right here as you can see there is no trace of the extra fields and that's because they are not editable when editing a complete node set. They're only editable when you're editing one specific card which makes them suitable for adding information that is specific to that on, to only to that specific label or rather to that specific card. And we can confirm this if we now delete all of the old remarks and just add some specific information about each of these different items. Let's just call it the specific information 1, specific information 2 and 3 correspondingly and then once again edit, it, edit the cards. For instance just uh, change one of the masks and add a header field. Then what we will see is that these nodes and the node specific information is preserved. So we have the specific information 1, 2 and 3 respectively exactly where we would expect it to be. And this can be customized. You can decide which fields should be card specific and which fields should be applied to all of the nodes in a specific node set. And the way you can customize this is through the tools um, through the tools a menu, you just have to head to Image Occlusion Enhanced Options and just use the miscellaneous settings list down here which is a comma separated list of all the fields that should be hidden on the editor dialog which means that they are not editable um, when globally editing a node set but only editable when editing a one, one specific um, card. And you can add any of the available fields to this list. So if we add the remarks field in here then you will see that when editing a note, the remarks field will also not be present on the fields tab anymore. Which means that from now on, any changes that we apply to the remarks field will be specific to that respective um, label, rather that respective card. All right, so that's as far as editing, uh, editing um, card-specific fields and um, note set. Um, node set relevant fields as uh, concerned. The other thing I wanted to show you is how you can use the editing feature to duplicate a image occlusion node set or rather to add a new set of nodes based on the old nodes. 
And the way you do this, do this is just head into the editing screen again. And what you can do in here is instead of clicking the edit cards button, you can also click the add new cards button. And what this button does is just adds a number of new cards, which are based on the old ones, without editing the existing ones. So, for instance, if you have this image here, here and just want to add a, a new set of cards with, with um, just slightly modified shapes, then you can just modify the shapes in however way you want, then use the Add New Cards button, and this will add the respective new cards to the collection without touching the originals. And um, what's also relevant to this point is that the um, the edit um, the button in the editing screen which says deck selection is only relevant when editing when adding new cards based on old ones so this might be a bit misleading and probably some people have probably thought that this would be a way to change the um, deck of an existing node set but that's not the case this button right here is really only for changing the um, deck of new cards that you might add based on the old ones using the add new cards button. If you want to change the deck of an existing node set what you have to do is just use Anki's inbuilt change node button and this is located in the browser so if we wanted to change the um, deck of these three nodes for instance we just have to select them with click and shift and then we just um, use the change deck button right here and select the new deck. Okay, so that's as far as that's concerned. I think this covers pretty much everything there is to say about the editing feature in Image Occlusion Enhanced. I hope you will enjoy this feature. It took me a long while to implement, so I'm very happy that it's finally in. Please make sure to ch stay tuned to this channel. I will be releasing new videos on Image Occlusion and lots of other add-ons soon. And yeah, I hope to see you soon in one of the next video. Until then, good luck with your studying and yeah, bye.